The Bundoran Weekly is brought to you by AIB, supporting local businesses in Bundoran. For more, see AIB.ie. Hi everyone, it's Shane Smith, Bundoran Tourism Officer. It is Friday the 30th of September 2022 and I'm here with you for the Bundoran Weekly Podcast, episode 202. It is a podcast that talks about everything Bundoran and I hope that we find you well. We have lots to tell you about uh, over the uh, duration of the podcast for this week. Lots of events happening and things going on around town and in the area. A little bit later on, I'm going to be joined by Barry O'Neill. Uh, Barry, of course, runs the Rory Gallagher International Tribute Festival, but also the Bally Shannon Rhythm and Blues Festival, a brand new festival happening across the October Bank Holiday weekend from the 28th to the 30th of October. And uh, we'll be chatting to him about that a little bit later on. Teresa O'Neill, as usual, will be joining us as well in our community corner from Bundoran Community Centre to let us know what is happening there. Let us start, as we always do, with our uh, music guide. And uh, in the Allingham, it is social dancing with the Lakelanders tonight. And then Nigel Livingstone there from 10 p.m. tomorrow night. The contractor is in the Coolmore Bar. And then also Kieran Rosney and Eamon Jackson. That's in the ballroom. They're on stage from 10.30 until 12.30. And uh, 15 euro admission there. Doors open there at 9.15 p.m. And Sunday evening it is Trevor Lockery from 7.30 until 9.30. And Sunday as well, you've got Eats and Beats with Neo Cannon uh, all at the Allingham next door in the Bird's Nest tomorrow night it is music with friends and Sunday afternoon it is music with Ger Long Gary Doherty tomorrow night tonight indeed at the Chase and Bull tomorrow night then it is music with True Tones Thirsty Thursdays continue at the Bank Bar and the Rogi Jazz Club is there this coming Sunday night so if you fancy easing off your weekend with a little bit of cool jazz then you can uh, head along to the Rogi Jazz Club this coming Sunday evening at the Bank Bar there on Main Street. The usual trad session at George's Bar on Main Street. That's from 4 till 6 on Sunday afternoon. Don't forget their acoustic set Thursdays and then the music on Friday and Saturday nights as well. Live music across the weekend at the Phoenix Tavern. Kenny Crawford, you will find him tonight at the Railway Bar. Jimmy Gallagher tonight at 51 Main Street and Sean Gibbons there tomorrow night. And Paris, as usual, is open this and every Saturday night. What else is going on in town? Well, we have a number of special events. One that is happening with thanks to our friends at the Donegal Bay and Blue Stacks Festival and it is called Ride the Tide. It is an illuminated adventure along the shorefront with a fiery finale on the beach to mark the changing of the seasons. It is on tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. It starts at Bundoran Community Library and then there is a procession going down the main street along the promenade and finishing up on Main Beach with lots of fire and uh, things like that happening as well. A nice big fire show and a lot of interest in that since we announced it the other day. So uh, we wish the guys luck on that. It is Lux uh, performers who are doing that. Uh, it's starting, as I say, at 8 o'clock at Bundoran Community Library. And then anybody who is spectating there can follow the procession down to the main beach. Or indeed, you can just wait at the main beach for it all to kick off. And it is all free of charge. Also, speaking of stuff happening on the beach, happening at the peak is the Irish Surfing Nationals competition. Uh, it is the annual uh, national surfing competition taking place here in Bundoran it's happening on the peak tomorrow and on Sunday and that will depend on conditions or whatever however the contest is run but it'll run from early tomorrow morning from about 8am or 9am at the peak uh, you'll see all the, the hullabaloo and the vans and everything up at the peak beside the uh, the Rock of the Birds monument up there and that will either all happen on Saturday, it'll all happen on Sunday, or it'll all happen across the weekend. But it'll depend on conditions and you can keep an eye on the uh, Irish Surfing Facebook page for more information on that. Kicking Donkey then on uh, tomorrow and Sunday. It is the Handmade in Bundoran and beyond. It is the Craft Fair and that is on 12 to 5 p.m. daily. And a great opportunity maybe to start your Christmas shopping a little bit early. Get a few nice bits of locally crafted goods and uh, that is at the Kick and Donkey there on Main Street from 12pm until 5pm tomorrow and on Sunday. If you want to head to the cinema, new out this week is one that I'm really looking forward to seeing. It is Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris. I saw the trailer a couple of months back at this point and uh, it looks like a really great movie. And then uh, Smile, which is a horror. So two completely opposite ends of the spectrum there on movies that are being released this weekend, but uh, both nonetheless available at Eclipse Cinemas in Bundoran. Missed It Monday is going to be where the crawdads sing if you didn't get a chance to see that. 
It is back for one night only this coming Monday. And they've got an autism friendly screening tomorrow morning of Tad the Lost Explorer. So uh, that is the autism friendly uh, screening there of Tad the Lost Explorer tomorrow morning at Eclipse Cinemas and EclipseCinemas.com or indeed our own website is where you'll find the full schedule of movies that are happening across this weekend. And of course, two weeks away only now at this point, it is our Festival of Europe. It is happening on the 14th and 15th and 16th of October. Our Sounds of Europe concert is happening Friday the 14th of October featuring music from Smetnaki from Slovenia and also from Paddy Spangers from the Czech Republic. We've also got uh, Ingo and William from the Netherlands and we've got Ben Reedy from the UK. And then on Saturday it is the folk music from the edge of Europe and that is featuring Mehel with a uh, a Mehel indeed of uh, Irish musicians playing the very best in trad. Then you've got Iro Turka from Finland and you've got Sinchar from Hungary, so a great weekend of music. There's also going to be lots of gigs happening in bars as well, free of charge right across the weekend, and we'll also be announcing something special next week as well. All as part of our Festival of Europe, uh, which is happening with thanks to our friends at the Department of Culture and also with thanks to our friends at the Donegal Bay and Blue Stacks Festival as well. And we thank them for their sponsorship uh, of our festival, which is happening in two weeks time. Discoverbundoran.com forward slash Festival of Europe has all of the details. And there you can buy the tickets for the Friday night concert and indeed the Saturday night concert as well. That has been a lot of stuff that is coming up over this weekend and over the next couple of weeks. And uh, don't forget, it's all available on our website, discoverbundoran.com forward slash events. You'll find all of the information there. We will add stuff to that website, of course, as we get it. And uh, so do check back often for uh, more information on what is happening and what is coming up over the coming few weeks and indeed coming few months as well. It is the Bundoran Weekly, with thanks to AIB.ie supporting local businesses in Bundoran and Ballyshannon. Still to come, we're going to be talking about another of those festivals, the brand new Ballyshannon Rhythm and Blues Festival happening over the October Bank Holiday weekend. Barry O'Neill, organiser of that, will be joining me, as well as Teresa O'Neill, who'll be in our community corner. The Bundoran Weekly. I'm Shane Smith, Bundoran Tourism Officer. It is the Bundoran Weekly and a brand new festival for Ballyshannon coming on the October Bank Holiday Weekend. It is the Ballyshannon Rhythm and Blues Festival uh, organised by the people who bring you the Rory Gallagher International Tribute Festival. One of those is Barry O'Neill and I spoke with him during the week. Barry, we're sitting here on a, a sunny September afternoon at the, at the Gables, uh, a great site for uh, for live music for the Rory Gallagher Festival, which of course you're heavily involved in. But you're also uh, here to let us know about a brand new festival that is happening um, this coming October Bank Holiday weekend, and a pretty big deal for Ballyshannon with lots of great music. Well, I suppose the idea for this was probably just that you know people were very much interested in having another trip to Ballyshannon, Bundoran area, you know, and the blues music scene has become so big across Ireland in in recent years, and I suppose it's always been there, but more so in recent years, there's been the advent of blues weekends, so we said, well, sure, why not? A lot of the artists were asking, a lot of the bands, and uh, we're trying to, I suppose, kick it off this year to see how it goes, and we're trying to keep it distinctively different to the Rory Gallagher Festival, but at the same time, tilting her hat to Rory and to Ballyshannon has been a blues town. So the rhythm and blues has been born uh, out of, I suppose, that aspiration of uh, having something else on another bank holiday weekend towards the end of the year. So here we are for the Ballyshannon Rhythm and Blues weekend from the 28th to the 30th of October. So uh, the germ of an idea w- was born and you needed to get the, the, the buy-in of, I suppose there's a lot of, uh, a lot of venues and you've got, you've got that buy-in, which is great. Yeah, we've uh, eight to nine venues here locally. Obviously, the time of year wouldn't lend itself to having too many outdoor gigs, uh, 28th to 30th of October. But, you know, uh, with the support of uh, the local Vintners Association and then our sponsors, uh, Guinness, we're able to put together a very good programme of events, uh, mainly indoor. There will be outdoor stuff. And uh, recently as well, we've had the, the new Rory Gallagher Mural uh, unveiled in the town and the artist Nick Purdy from Sligo done a wonderful job and uh, we'll get to celebrate that as well and uh, have another gig down there as well uh, to kick things off o- over the weekend o- of the Rhythm and Blues so as I say um, there's a lot of interest already we've only put it together in the last few weeks and uh, 
you know, even from overseas, there's uh, people on about coming over and, and, and having a good time. And I really do think that the musicians themselves uh, need more of, you know, of these weekends. And uh, I think the musicians that we've lined up for this, uh, they come from the very heart of the Irish blues music scene. I was going to say, there's a lot of great lineup which we'll talk about in a second, but uh, a lot of them just jumped at the chance of, of getting out and playing another festival, oh, particularly this time of year. Yeah, there was no problem, and I'd say since we announced the, the, the lineup, there's been maybe as many, maybe another 12, 14 uh, contacts from Wicklow to Cork uh, to Belfast uh, to, 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 to Ballyshan and Bundoran, guys looking to see can they get on the programme. Uh, but we're realistic, uh, you know, that you can only run so many gigs in one weekend. Sure. Uh, we have a lineup. Up. We have 12 acts, you know, we've eight venues, we've a couple of outdoor venues, weather permitting, and uh, you know, we, we've, we've spaced it out that you know, there's different times of the day for different venues, that there's a whole blues trail throughout the town, rhythm and blues throughout the town, that people can catch a gig at three o'clock, they can catch a gig at five o'clock, they can catch a gig maybe at seven, they can catch a gig at nine o'clock, they can catch a gig at half ten, and uh, the venues stay open till one o'clock, half one, which is great. So you've set up the, the schedule so that people can watch and listen to as much different music as they possibly can. Exactly, yeah, and I think this is the way it is with a lot of the blues events around Ireland, like you have the, the Black Stairs Blues Festival in Escorty, Limavady Blues, the Seven Hills Blues, the Monaghan, Monaghan Harvest Blues Festival in Monaghan, you know, Dunfanaghy, and uh, this is the way it's done, and this is the, the blues circuit that we're going in on, on to, uh, you know, to attract many of those blues enthusiasts to come to what we would see as being the birthplace of the blues, Rory Goller's birthplace, and uh, we've we've absolutely no regrets in saying that because that's what it actually yeah. is. And I suppose for the last twenty years, Ballyshannon has become a hub uh, for blues fans, not alone from uh, Ireland but from twenty countries across the world. So very much so, the you know the whole trail that we've developed in Ballyshannon from uh, the very first day that Donald Goller unveiled the Rory Goller. Uh, plaque at the Rock Hospital where Rory was born uh, to 2002 to Rory Goller Place, the first street where Rory lived, uh, you know, the, a plaque was unveiled there and Rory Goller Place was developed the theatre locally was renamed Rory Goller Theatre, then the statue arrived in mm -hmm. 2010 uh, Never a day goes by that there's somebody not standing on it. Exactly, <laughs> yeah, and then obviously the festival blossomed in that time and now the mural as well and yeah. uh, you know, with this whole blues trail and a Rory trail, the rock and stroll in Ballyshannon and uh, as I say, I think I think people like coming to Ballyshannon, they like coming to South Donegal, they have a good time and um, I think that, you know, for the musicians in particular, it's another outlet for them as well and while many of the acts are Irish, um, I think that's important as well because the Irish music industry and the Irish blues music scene needs events, needs weekends like this uh, and as I say, I'm very happy with the way it's turned out so far. Let's talk about some of, uh, of those musicians and just... As, as we are sitting here at, at the Gables, and obviously it's the normal traffic here at the moment, but this is a, a great venue for an outdoor gig, just with the slant and just, and you know, you see the pictures of it and you think, wow, it's just fantastic. It's just so natural the way, the way it sits. It's like an amphitheater. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's, it's a street and, uh, you know, it, it has its, the electrical shop, Fenton's, it's got the post office, it's got the barber shop, it's got Tet Little Tet, I'm trying to mention them all, it's got <laughs> the filling station, but then on this one weekend in the year at the Rory Goller Festival, it just becomes, uh, you know, a massive, like, sea of people yeah. for, for these gigs over two days, and, you know, you'd love to do it in October as well, but we're re realistic that, you know, that this is very much going to be the time of year, indoor venues, but, like, uh, yeah, it's it's the hub of of, of, of of many the festivals in Ballyshandown through the years, the Folk Festival as well, uh, the Gables area, but uh, the 3 o'clock on the Friday of the 28th of October, this will kick off with Davy Kay, uh, an outdoor impromptu session on the footpath. We've really numbered them over the weekend, again at the Mural on the Sunday we have another one, and all day Saturday we're going to have a busking competition from the Bridge End right up as far as uh, the top of the town. We're going to have as many buskers as we can, competing for prizes, competing for a slot at the Rory Goller Festival, and uh, we hope to have, you know, on the Saturday afternoon, just the town filled with music. Hopefully the weather's good uh, for acoustic bus busking throughout the town. And I say over the last number of days, we've had a lot of entries already. So uh, we just want to fill Ballyshannon with music, you know, blues music yeah. that weekend. And as I say, the events then will follow in, in the indoor venues are great as well. Cool. Let's talk. So we have uh, Zach Schultz band, which I know uh, he's 
been a huge performer at the uh, the Rory Gallagher, Mark Black, our own Johnny Gallagher, of course, and uh, of course one of the big names there that I have seen that is just escaping me now, of course, is Rob Strong as well, which I think that's one of your big draws. Well, Rob Strong is is the godfather of Irish blues and has been for many many years. Like Rob now is in his mid to late seventies, but he's still tearing up the country, doing the theatre scene at the moment. Has sold out venues in Enniscorthy, Ennis, uh, Clonus in recent weeks, and um, you know, Rob Strong needs no introduction, uh, you know, to any blues audience, be it in Ireland or across Europe. Of course, his son famously was Andrew, is Andrew Strong, who fronted the commitments, and uh, I suppose brought the Strong name even further uh, afield than what it was in music circles to the, the big film screen. And uh, Rob is just one of these gentle uh, souls of Irish music and is the soul of Irish blues music. And I had the pleasure of seeing Rob a number of years ago at a venue in Dublin. And I remember at the time saying, I'd love to bring Rob to the Rory Goller Festival. It didn't happen. Mm. Uh, but by having Rob now coming to the Blues Festival and coming to Ballyshannon, uh, he's delighted to come. There was no second asking. He just wanted to come. Brilliant. And, uh, you know, having Rob here is great. Mary Stokes band, Mary Stokes again, a legend of you know the Irish blues music scene. She's been on the scene for well over twenty five years, and um, you know well connected you know through her music, uh, you know highly charged blues music. I seen a gig recently in Dublin herself and Gráinne Duffy done at the Arthur's Jazz and Blues Club in Dublin, absolutely amazing. Hot Press would be very much a big fan of Mary Stokes over the years. She's been the champion of. Uh, you know Irish blues music mm. herself and Mary Coughlin I suppose you know Gráinne Duffy in more recent times so having Mary Mary Stokes here and uh, having Rob uh, Strong coming along uh, you know they're really the, the you know the cream of the crop when it comes to you know the history of the Irish blues and you know the surviving members I suppose still performing the Irish blues and we're very happy to have them and um, and then you have the the other end of it as you say the Zach Schultz gang uh, who I discovered in the pub a couple of years ago and came last year and you know again a very much a, a rock blues band uh, coming back over they were mad to come I says come ahead and uh, then we have Delta Fuse, a very, very good, highly charged young band, and again, doing great things across the UK and Ireland at the moment. And as you say, Jerry Quigley, a guy that shared stages with Phil Linnett uh, from County Clare, uh, master musician, just after doing a storming set recently at the Harvest Time Blues Festival in Monaghan. And then what you can say about Johnny Gallagher, you know, a man who always turns it on for whatever audience he plays to. Paul Sherry again from Monaghan, the Paul Sherry Band, another man who needs no introduction again to the Irish blues music circuit. So as you can see, like we, we've kept it very much to the blues, to the Irish blues, yeah. and I think that's very important for t to establish this weekend. I think that's going to be very evident uh, here in Ballyshannon that weekend. So it's quite the lineup as we record this. You've just released the uh, the, the, the timetable and the schedule uh, on the uh, the social media pages and indeed on the Rory Gallagher Festival website as well. So that's there for people to look if they, if they weren't, weren't sure about maybe coming to have a look they'll see such a huge lineup there literally every hour to every half hour there's something different on somewhere else and that that's fantastic as well so uh, a big weekend uh, promised here in Ballyshannon for the uh, the blues festival and that is on the 28th to the 20th 30th. 30th of uh, see a typo there at the 30th of October and uh, that is over the uh, October Bank holiday weekend and I suppose with your Rory Gallagher hat on as well no more than when I talk to Daniel about C sessions the plan and time is now and this is the time that the hard work is getting done for next year's festival for Rory yeah well believe it or not like our lineup is ready to go Brilliant. and uh, it's probably going to be released the headliners in the next two weeks uh, the headliners for the Rory Gallagher festival will be released even ahead of the Rhythm and Blues and that's the way it needs to be because we have so many international visitors that are coming and are booking already even ahead of a lineup. and uh, I have to say that what we're putting together for next year following this year's probably was our best ever festival this year for Rory and Ballyshannon uh, it was the 2022 festival like some of the performances from the bands that we had you know doing the pub gigs to the street gigs to the, the, the main big top you know like, like we had the creme de la creme of mm. you know American blues from Walter Trout to Eric Gales to, you know, to to, to to the top British and Irish, you know, European acts that, that were here. Like, and I say, I think people are going to be pleasantly surprised by what what we have for next year. A lot of big new acts coming in, legendary acts, and as I say. I would safely say, Shane, in the next couple of weeks, people are going to get a shock when they see what we've lined up for Rory Goller Festival 2023. 
uh, you know, the Rory Goller followers are going to be very happy. Some of the people we've been trying to get for years and years to come to the festival have now agreed to come. Those boxes are friendly getting ticked. That they're getting ticked. I have T-shirts at home that I've been wearing around. Gigs I've been going to over the last couple of years right. of these people, <laughs> and now I'm looking at the T-shirts, well worn, and I'm going. The contracts are signed. Uh, these guys are coming, and I'm very happy about it. And uh, I, I really, really hope that uh, you know that we can continue to do this. And I think continue to honour Rory here in Ballyshannon is very important. And all the other events that take place for Rory, like. This coming weekend, like in uh, Bergamo in Italy, there's a there's a tribute to Rory. There's been one recently in Nantwich in England. Uh, the big one in Holland is the first weekend in, in, in March in Vikonze. And uh, as I say, there's so many uh, tributes to Rory. There's uh, Dublin Blues Night to Rory as well in October. And I say, uh, the more the merrier. And I think continuing it is very important, not alone for the Ballyshannon Bundoran area, but for the legend of Rory Galleries and even the mural that we have now in Ballyshannon is a total testament, not alone to the artist, but to the artist that is Rory Galler. Another mural recently unveiled in Cloyne in Cork, another one in McCroom in Cork, where Rory famously played Ireland's first open air blues festival uh, back in 1977 at, at McCroom. Uh, you know, I think the Gallagher family can only be proud uh, of the legacy there that his brother is continuing to bring to this day, uh, 28 years after his death, and it's st still going on. It's brilliant. Fantastic. Listen, we wish you the best of luck with your uh, with your festival and uh, the Ballyshannon Rhythm and Blues Festival from the 28th to the 30th of October. That's the October Bank Holiday Weekend, and uh, we'll put a link to that in the uh, the podcast notes as well. And of course, Rory Gallagher for next year as well. So there's plenty happening. And uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Shane, and to all in Discover Bundoran. Thank you. The Bundoran Weekly. Thanks, Barry. And as I mentioned, details will be in the show notes of the podcast so uh, you can find all the information there on that festival. Right now, let's head to Bundoran Community Centre. And in our community corner, here's Teresa. Thanks, Shane. Are you remote working and living in Bundoran or the surrounding area and would like to take advantage of our voucher scheme? Please visit connectedhubs.ie or call into the centre to have a tour around a co-work plus. We have a wonderful parent and toddler group here in the centre every Friday from 2pm to 3.30. Suggested donations of €5. Euro. Parents, grandparents and carers are all welcome. Please email bundornpnt at gmail.com to book in. Seafront Strollers is every Tuesday at 12pm or Thursday at 4pm. It is a lovely walk and chat around the promenade and then back to the centre afterwards for tea and coffee. It is €2 euro per person. We have the Bundoran Museum, which is open every Monday to Friday from 10am to 5pm. The museum is free, but donations are welcome. The next Clean Coast Beach Cleanup is Thursday the 6th at 10am at the Rogie Switch, which is at the back of the centre. Reminder to please bring your own gloves, high vis and we have spare litter pickers here. Thanks, Teresa. More from you next week. That will do it for our final podcast for the month of September. We are hurtling through the year. We are back again next weekend with episode 203. And uh, don't forget, you can contact us at podcast at bundoranweekly.com and find us on Facebook and Twitter at Bundoran Weekly and follow us wherever you're listening now or indeed stream and download all episodes on demand at bundoranweekly.com. If you are on social media, if you're using Instagram, don't forget we have a lot of giffies there for uh, you brightening up your Instagram stories and don't forget to tag your photographs on Instagram with the hashtag Discover Bundoran for your chance to be featured on our feed as well. That is going to do it. Have a great week. So have a safe one and we'll talk to you next Friday. Good luck. The Bundoran Weekly is a production of Discover Bundoran. The Bundoran Weekly is brought to you by AIB. Supporting local businesses in Bundoran. For more, see AIB.ie.